Today is Shad Tostad Pink Thursday. Drinking beer can lead to death. So, the kids out there, if you're thinking of drinking beer, don't do it. You only end up dead. Falcon 5.2. If you're buying this beer in a club, the pipe version, that's gonna cost you seven or eight pounds in some places. Like most beers, it looks like urine. There's a nice head on it. Smell. That smells kind of fruity. Strong, strong kind of aftertaste to it. Yeah, you can kind of taste the hops, the yeast in that one. When you're talking to the ladies in a club and you've had a couple of Falcons, this one makes your breath smell. Out of 10, I'm going to give Falcon four. One thing to remember when buying beer in Sweden, you don't look at what beer it is or where it's from, you look at how strong it is. Now this is a very popular beer, you can get this all over Sweden. I don't know if you can get it in any other country, let me know. Now that looks a little bit lighter. Smells? It doesn't smell too much. It's again like most beers, it looks like piss and let's hope it doesn't taste like piss. Here goes. You can taste the malt, the yeast, um, a little bit fruity. Not as bitter as the Falcon. Marks out of 10. I'm gonna give that five. Beer is the third most consumed drink in the world and 0.7% of the world are getting hammered right now. Can you imagine that? So 50 million people the size of Colombia are pissed as farts right now. Philips Bar is every poor people's dream in Sweden. You'll see a lot of youngsters drinking Philips Bar in the pre-party because it's cheap. A normal person would drink three of these and you're quite drunk. If you're Swedish, you probably have to drink about 15 of these to get drunk. It's a light beer, light in color, and it smells, it smells almost fruity. It's probably the best tasting and doesn't have that, that shock aftertaste. You don't get the smelly breath feeling when you drink this. It's got to be an 8 out of 10. Norland's Guild. When you're doing a beer video, make sure you've eaten before. Or else you're going to end up drunk. This is um, darker, like the first two. It smells... It smells quite fruity. Now for the taste test. Now, that's a different taste altogether. That's got a nice full flavor to it. That's a good all rounder. It doesn't leave that bitter aftertaste. Norland's Gills, if I've got to give that a mark out of 10, I'm gonna give it, I would give that eight as well. Which one's gonna win? For all round taste, flavor, value for money, I'm gonna give it to Plips. The pluses of drinking beer, and there's not many, is when you've had too many, everybody speaks the same. I love you. Bruh, Why do they never fill their pint glasses to the top? If I'm paying eight pounds for a, a pint, and you only fill it up to there, I want my money's worth. At least fill it up with a froth, or something. I don't want to see it down here. Not for eight pounds, I don't. Rant over. I'm out of here. Peace. Go.